What's up, sweet tits? Uh, you got to check out my fall dates all on sale now at SatVolcanoComedy.com. We got uh, Toronto. We have Hamilton, Canada, Ontario there. Richmond, Virginia. Hershey, Pennsylvania, second show added. Knoxville. Uh, Atlanta, second show added. Birmingham, Louisville, Evansville, Jacksonville, Tampa, Orlando, Sacramento, San Jose, Santa Rosa. All on sale right now. SavileCanoComedy.com. Merch is up there, too. Uh, yeah, that's my next dates, and that's going to be it for a little while, so make sure you get out there. Thanks, guys. All right, and then this ad. Hey, folks, Joe DeRosa here from the Taste Buds Podcast. I got dates. I got dates. I got dates. Go to JoeDeRosaInfo.com to check them out. You can also buy your tickets there. Get all the show info you need. Uh, first up, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Then I will be heading off to San Diego, California. I am also hitting Somerville in Massachusetts. After that, North Carolina and some other stuff JoeDeRosaInfo.com. New dates are being added all the time. And if you're in New York City, come to Joey Rose's. If you're not in New York City and you want to make a trip, come to Joey Rose's. JoeyRose'sNYC.com for all of the info on the spot that serves both alcohol and sandwiches at amazing prices. Open Tuesday through Sunday at 12 p.m. every day. JoeyRose'sNYC.com. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Hey folks, welcome to T-A-S-T-E Buds. It's Joe DeRosa here flying solo today without Sal Volcano. Sal is uh, taking care of business, uh, and uh, that's what he's doing right now. So you're gonna have to deal with me. <laughs> Running the ship, steering the ship here for a couple episodes, and that's just the way it is. Uh, but I do have some special guests here. Uh, I'm happy that they are here. They are uh, varying degrees of friends. Uh, how do I say this? How do you say it? Uh, Ari Shafir, I've known longer and is technically a closer friend, but I wouldn't say he's a better friend. I'm more of an enemy. It's <laughs> Steve Simone. <laughs> I'm both more of a friend and more of an enemy. <laughs> yeah, I know Steve way less, but he's better. Yeah, he's a better person. He's a better human, for sure. Than both of us, though. I still can't believe you guys are friends. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. It reminds me of uh, Rickles and Christian. Bob Newhart. Yes. Like, I remember when I was a young yeah, comic. Which of, wait, but Don Rickles At and least Bob one Newhart of you would have friends. to be successful in that scene. <laughs> <laughs> There's still hope. <laughs> no, it does remind me of that. Rick Moranis does? and Bob Newhart? No, no, no. <laughs> Rick Moranis. No, Don, Don Rickles. Rickles. Don Rickles and Bob Newhart. Don that Rickles' best sense. friend was... was like, Rick Moranis is an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> he shrunk like... those kids on purpose. <laughs> yeah, what if he found That's out? why he got punched. He really is yeah. Zool. He started with those guys, which you didn't know before the punch was. He was really <laughs> shitting on those dudes. What if you found out either one of them was an asshole? What if you found out Don, uh, Bob Newhart was an asshole? Real ball buster. Real fucking... Yeah. Didn't tip. Actually stole money from other <laughs> tables yeah wow yeah. it would it would endear me to bob newhart who's the well i i i i i is that is that, is that I, bro I best my, end episode my, my dollar best end episode of a sitcom ever though his newhart, newhart one was pretty legendary the, bro how did it insane. end it ends do you want you can no, say because you you're excited Spo no. spoiler it alert if you haven't seen it in 47 <laughs> years you've missed the opportunity it is pretty goddamn great Jeez. tv guy blew it before it came out which is lame but it ends with he his, so his second sit his first sitcom he was a psychiatrist and he was married to suzanne Pluchette, the act the, the that's the actress that plays what second series i forget the actress that played his wife but but he oh it was he was a different character and he owned a bed and uh, breakfast, a bed and bre breakfast. Yeah. And Very the weird that's characters. That's when I got into. Yeah, all that yeah. shit. The end of that series, he wakes up in the middle of the night. The turns the light on. He's on the bedroom set of the original series. Turns. Suzanne Pluchette gets up and she's like, what's the matter, honey? And he's like, I had the worst dream I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I dreamt that I owned a bed and breakfast and there were these horrible people. And he started like explaining it. And as he's explaining it, it's killing. Yes. And then when he goes, and then there were these brothers and it, the place is going fucking so nuts. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was, I got chills like talking I, about that. Right Cause now. it's a yeah. live, it's yeah, a live yeah. studio audience. And they were yeah. like, Oh my God. Yeah. They were like, they're going like crazy. It's oh an awesome, God. awesome ending. I thought that, 
and I didn't have the guts to pitch to him, but I did a, uh, I was only on one episode because they cut my character. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I was on an episode, I was on a sitcom called Living Biblically when I lived in LA that Johnny Galecki. Is that the one that nobody saw? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you know, that. I, well, I just got nervous and I was just like, wait, better call Saul. Like until now, I'm like nervous to be sitting next to him. No, like, but I was, Johnny Galecki was uh, EPing the show. Who's Johnny Galecki from the from, from Big Bang Theory? Yeah. Oh. No, no, <laughs> yeah, no. That that's right. Is it his? No, that's Kanicki. Kanicki. Uh, he was EPing the show and became very friendly. <laughs> he was very it's nice. But it was at the same time that they were leading up to the finale of Big Bang Theory, uh, and nobody knew how Big Bang Theory was going to end yet. They were like entering the last season, and I so badly wanted to pitch. I want because it was before Roseanne came back, and I wanted. I was like Roseanne he wakes up, sh- he's not the wakes son up. Tra- she should show up. She's been a and, mom all along. And be like, and just be like, we've been looking for you. Where have you been? You, you left, know? You left yeah. Becky without, yes. without a kid. Not yeah. Becky. Or Darlene, Darlene yeah. And, and like, I'm like, that's how your character should lead. Like, and I didn't have the fucking guts to, uh, not that they, they would, would have done They would not have like, taken yeah. it. Would you have said it now? Or are you more confident now to be like, who cares? This is I a great idea. I a thousand idea. percent would have said yeah, it now. Yeah, I'd just been like, and then just been like, dude, I think it's yeah. a good idea. It is like, a good idea. Who cares? You know, like. I called I called the the guys from Better Call Saul and said pitch ideas. I just was like, I have an idea of, for a spinoff for my character. Oh <laughs> yeah, of course. How about every single character on there? It's like, <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. you're doing spinoffs. How but, about make me a star? But but it wasn't that. The, the, <laughs> the idea was so insane that I was like, I, I it justified me. That's great. Pitching it. I didn't even pitch a pitch it. I called. To, um, I Vince called Gilligan? the EP. Dude, that guy's great. Vince Gilligan's. I, did, so I called nice. this guy Thomas Schnauss, who's a great, awesome dude. Fuck him. And he. <laughs> <laughs> now And I just said, "Do you think this idea is worth presenting to Vince and Peter?" And I told him the idea. And he was laughing really hard. And he was like, "I don't think they want to do any more here." He was like, "But I'll ask them." That's and I was great. like, "Okay." Like, but I was like, "But it was such a crazy idea that I was like, I don't feel self conscious about pitching this at all." I'm not being like, and then wouldn't it be great if, see, my guy, like, right, just something it wasn't wrong. that. Yeah, it was nuts. It was yeah. nuts. But anyway, so yes, I would have said it to Johnny Galecki. Yeah. I want to, well, I could there, probably I hear your vet idea. We could probably just get the idea to Roseanne right now. Yeah, like he was a real vet. <laughs> something went wrong. His dog died like John Wick. And then he's like, now I'll just, I'm done operating on fucking uh, Dude, I'm animals. reading a book. About a real vet. <laughs> Have you guys ever worked? I'm just vet? doing back alley shit. What? I would love to play. That actually be very funny. Me just in the shape I'm in now with my body, my posture, everything, but having to do John Wick stuff. Yeah. And back. like how sloppy it would be. And it would be called Fear the Pair. <laughs> <laughs> but it works. That's the funny part. It's like I'm doing all the stuff and it's horrible, but it works. Like I am Parent, killing everybody. Yeah. You can train just to make it look right. No, That's but it should look right. It should well, look like out. the first time I'm trying it. <laughs> but everybody's still dying, and that's what's funny about it. No, no, it no, no. Yeah. But have you guys ever... The scariest people in the world are that. Don't know how to do it. No, 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 no. Completely not who you'd pick up on a the radar. They don't look like Jack... Yeah. Remember that? There was a 60 Minutes once, and it was the first time ever they got... And I'm not saying this because you're here. I'm self-conscious. Of, but it was a Mossad agent that they caught on camera... That right. was an assassin because nobody knows what these guys look like. They're the best of the best. And it looked like a suburban dad, chubby, out of shape, hairy legs, Amazing. socks pulled up, completely, Ready. completely off the radar. You would not know who the scariest person is. Yeah, they don't want land. somebody looking like and You know what I thought of on the plane? I got to do a bit about it. But, like, whenever they meet, like, like uh, you know, 007, they meet on a train. Some worms wearing, like, a silk Nighty on the train and they meet and he's just like walking past her and it's like it's like oh shit that might be a fellow spy right. and then they're like so what are you uh, what are you doing here and I'm like that's not the trains I've been on <laughs> Where, where's the fat, fat kid who was like I want a sandwich mom I want a sandwich <laughs> and then just somebody in a silk nighty comes by like oh you're probably the it's the escalator the from the end of the casino yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's funny excuse me sir no the seat's taken that those are that's very funny. Those are the kind of details that they'll put into like like I just watched Uncharted and it was actually super fun. I like the video games a lot and the movie was really fun. But those are the kind of details they'll put into like um, like that Uncharted's very much like Indiana Jones. They'll throw like those goofy details in where like like in Indiana Jones like when the fireplace turns. Yeah. 
and like in every other back. movie, yeah, and then they see them and like and they start screaming and they're like, and it's so funny, like un, like Uncharted is a, or Indiana Jones even that's a series where it's like they'd be on a plane and they'd be having been talking about something thing and then all of a sudden a baby would start crying or something, <laughs> yeah, and you'd be like, that's what makes this like a great series. Versus everything that's yeah. so slick. Or I want to do a series called Uncharted about my pants this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it's, a, it's set in the past. <laughs> well, listen. Today we're here to battle. Do you guys want to? Oh, by the way, do you guys want to talk about any? Do you want to plug anything you're doing? Well, it's coming out right away, right? Huh? It's coming out. So I'll be in Philadelphia, home of fucking. Comes out next. Not. Not today. It comes out next Monday. Yeah, I'll be in. Uh, I'll be in. Uh, I'll be in uh, Philadelphia at the Helium Club. Helium. Nice. That's, that's it's called. <laughs> what are they going yeah. nighttime? Club yeah. Helium. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Night. In in, uh, in uh, October, and uh, okay. I don't know. And I'm starting a new podcast. What is it? It's, it's a travel podcast called You Be Tripping. Uh, oh, that's great. great. Yeah, yeah. One that's great. one hour, one one place. Different that's people great. that have been there. So uh, you can register now. What is it called? Not register. What's the word? Subscribe. Subscribe. Yes. Yeah, so everybody go see that. My That's special great. Out in October. That's great. I have absolutely nothing. I'm finishing <laughs> up stand up, and I just want to finishing go. up stand up. Are you leaving? Yeah, well, no, a little tour this week. And oh, 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 okay. All yeah. right. Well, maybe eating? maybe a prayer for the people to say to God. Or oh, that's something. all. I'm trying to figure out that podcast you told me yeah. to do, but you I don't do want it to Jesus make a preach. podcast. Um, I, you know what? I'm going to announce it here too because I keep dragging my ass, and if I announce it, I have to do it. I'm I'm launching a solo podcast and patreon and youtube channel it's going to be called down with joe DeRosa. it's going to be me talking about all the things i'm down with i'm going oh, to be reviewing cool. like media box sets talking about video games reviewing movies nice it's going to be all it's going to be just like hanging out with me <laughs> <laughs> as i sit at my desk uh, alone this is, this is the start of every episode i don't know no, the, the, the 100% <laughs> will be uh, food. It's just me, me basically doing a, like talk, discussing a lot of things that I that I really love. Uh, anyway, that's coming soon. There. I but finally, what's coming now, Joe? What's coming now? Me, in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, uh, what's coming now is the battle. Yeah, we're here to battle. What? Uh, what? What Ari referred to as Guido meat. Yeah, we're gonna uh, the, 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 yeah the battle of the delis. We're battling salami versus prosciutto. Now Sal, yeah, even in his absence, yeah, even in my picking up the ball and running with it, yeah, booking the guests, creating the battles, yeah, figuring it all out. Let me guess, still weighing in, being a downer, being right before over, right before we started. I don't know if this battle has the teeth. I'm a little concerned. God bless if you wanted it. Because that's Sal. Hey, Sal, go handle your business. <laughs> Sal, he, he will always sugarcoat it. God bless. So it sounds like he's being nice. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, but, I love you both. Uh, it's not that I don't love you both individually I and just, as a group. But yeah. uh, I mean, why be a failure? You know, it's like, yeah. wait, what'd you say? <laughs> Salami said, is I love the best, most diverse meat there is. Salami, so, so Ari is team salami. I'm t I said to Sal, I go, I respect your input. Prosciutto and salami have legs. The, uh, these are on every... If Sal you go to Europe, these are... Because he's a dumb guid. <laughs> and he's like, oh, it's prosciutto all the way. No, no, no. He didn't think either meat might be able to carry. What? Whoa. Fat I Sal? I, 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 Dude, they're both <laughs> sensational. They're sensational. They're both sensational. It's a tough battle. They're sensational meats. But also, too, you go overseas. Yeah. Most European countries that I've been to, if you go to their breakfast thing in the hotel, yep. prosciutto and salami on every breakfast. But oh. these cured meats make an appearance everywhere. These are... These are you don't see you don't you don't see turkey. No, you don't see you turkey. You go to Amsterdam. No. You're not going to no. a deli and they have a turkey sandwich. They have they have so they, these I are the meats. Joey yeah. Diaz to my favorite Italian deli in Los Angeles years ago, and somebody ordered a turkey sandwich, and he got <laughs> angry. Like he was like, "Who comes to Domingo's and orders a turkey sandwich? I should smack this guy." You know, and he was going to say, "I was like, Joey, just." Relax. What is he, by the way? Is he Italian he's or Cuban. Mexican? He's, he's Cuban. He's Italian okay. adjacent. Yeah. Okay. He grew up, okay. in, grew up in that it. culture. It. It's like you're not really Egyptian. No, I'm I'm really Egyptian. I'm not really Italian, but I identify 100% as Italian. That's how I grew up. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's the yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing. That's oh, showing. wait. I forgot. Before we do the battle, I have to plug this. Uh, uh, this is... Um, I said I wear the shirt. 
Uh, this is from Katrina. Uh, Gen- Katr- Katrina still they're still raising money for Katrina. <laughs> I'm like, dude, if you haven't gotten together by now, it's on you. Uh, the, the funds were out there. Come on with these charities. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina Genter is her name. She's very oh. lovely. She came to uh, one of my shows in Atlantic City. She's the founder of our Brothers Keepers Foundation um, that is a dedication to uh, in memory of her brother, Chris. Uh, she was lovely. I met her after the show. She gave me a shirt. She said, if you wore this, it would be awesome. I'm wearing it. For that reason, I'm trying to do a good thing for once. When I'm, you know, I'm always on Twitter saying, I hope this bicyclist's gets elbowed off his bike and dies and all yeah. these things. So I'm, I'm trying to say, like, I'm trying to do a nice thing here. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. shouts out. Our Brothers Keepers Foundation. For every $10 donated, they donate one porno magazine to orphans that's in the inner true. city. That's not true. Uh, that's it's not one true. of their side things, that's but they true. have pledged that's not true. one that's full not true. penetration that's porno not true. magazine. That's not true. Inner city poverty-stricken orphans. That's not true. That's not true. Okay, follow our Brothers Keeper. They don't do anything Ari just said. Let's move off of it quickly before he ruins it. Uh, <laughs> bonus. Oh, bonus. Shut up, shut up. Bonus stop. for losers. Stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. Our Brothers Keepers Foundation. Oh, visit them at uh, uh, on Facebook. Follow them on Facebook. Our Brothers Keepers Foundation. Shut up. If you can't right. come, shut up. they'll shut get up. you hard. Shut up, shut up, <laughs> shut up, shut up. I cut it off right after I said the thing. What? Okay. I'm just trying to promote the thing. <laughs> stop it. All right, here we go. Uh, <laughs> salami. And I got shout outs on the next episode too, Pimp. Remind me. People have been bringing me... I'll talk about it in the next episode. We got to move. Salami versus prosciutto. I am team prosciutto. Of Ari course is you team are. Team salami. Are you team either, or do you want to be know. the judge this at the end? He knows Maybe what he I'll is. I'll be the judge. No, he no, I don't because I started to Simeone. Think, you know what the is, fuck you are. Yeah, but there's uh, yeah. I am a guinea. I live. I, I thank you. It's food. That's it. All, all I want out of life. Another is taste buds delicious. first. We got a moderator on site. I don't Let's think we've do ever it. had that pimp. This is tough. Oh wait, you moderated. First oh, moderator. Oh, that's right. Okay, never mind. And first guest. That's how. That's great. Little First little guest, last about. case. First moderator, last moderator. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> hey, folks. Joe DeRosa here, talking to you about Sunday scaries. We all get the Sunday scaries, right? You know what that is. Sunday. You go. Oh shit. You're stressful. You're nervous. You can't sleep. You got dreadful feelings, and those feelings hit you when the hardest on Sunday evening, when you think about the impending doom of the work week. Uh, of, of what's coming tomorrow, of school, or just life in general. I'll tell you, this ad speaks my language. My gosh. Did I write this? Uh, unfortunately, I mean, we're talking about doom. <laughs> uh, anyway, unfortunately, you can feel that scary feeling every day of the week. It's not just regulated to Sunday. Sunday's just the name we gave it because that's the most uh, um, uh, identifiable day with this feeling. But anyway... You know these oh shit moments. So Sunday Scaries, the company, is here to help. All right? Isn't that nice? They're here to help. Uh, Sunday Scaries CBD gummies were made to defeat the crap that life throws at you, help you relax. Uh, They're perfect CBD gummies for for, uh, professionals, if you're on the grind in any way, uh, for, for moms, for dads, students, party animals, uh, re- re- regretful texters when you're drunk whatever it is sometimes you gotta just go oh geez uh, let me I gotta relax Uh, I don't relax well Uh, as you all know you watch this show Uh, it's hard for me to shut my brain off and chill you know here I am in my bar and I lay at night in my bed equally thankful that I have a bar uh, and equally panicked that I have a bar I lay at night equally thankful about this podcast and equally panicked that I have to wake up at a certain time to record it. Uh, Stand-up comedy, one of the great gifts life has given me, maybe the greatest gift life has given me. And I, and I, oh my God, I have to go on the road and I have to get on the plane and what if the plane is delayed and all this. (laughs) This is just how I operate and I know a lot of you do too. Uh, This can affect your sleep, it can affect your life. You get what I'm saying. Check out the CBD gummies, all right? 2020, let's make it all, or 2022, excuse me. Let's make it all about self-love and taking better care of yourself. Sunday Scary CBD gummies are the answer, all right? We have the, we have the right, the right to live scare-free, all right? 
and I'm going to give you a 25% discount to do so. Visit sundayscaries.com and use the promo code TASTEBUDS for a 25% off discount. That's promo code TASTEBUDS for 25% off the Sunday Scaries at sundayscaries.com. Who loves meat? I do. I love it. I love me some meat. Boy, I love me some high-quality meat even better. Therefore, I love me some Butcher Box. Butcher Box bringing you high-quality meat to your door for effective prices, cost-effective prices, speedy deliveries, wonderful meats. I mean, I just love this, man. Uh, Butcher Box takes the guesswork out of finding your high-quality meat uh, or seafood. And you can trust them in doing it. 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken. The pork is raised crate-free. They got wild-caught seafood. It's all humanely raised. No antibiotics, no added hormones, none of that crap in your food. Just good quality meat. Get just what you want delivered to you as well right to your doorstep. This is ultimate convenience. What do you want? You get it. What you don't want, you don't get it. It's that easy. And it's free shipping in the continental United States, and there are no surprise fees. People, this is just amazing. There's so many options. They have so many different plans. Uh, you, you know, you can curate your own box. Whatever you want, this is it. Take the guesswork out of getting yourself some high-quality stuff uh, to the on the plate, and just trust ButcherBox. Trust me. I love them. I love, I love, I love, I love this service. All right, so, uh, well, and, and I should say, what's my favorite? I like the steaks. I, I, I find that steaks are uh, a grass-fed steak uh, of quality, not just quality because it's grass-fed, quality cut, thickness. You know, that's got, all got something to do with it. You know, you can go into any old store and find grass-fed beef, and if it's cut badly or it's too thin or it's too thick, it doesn't do you any good. Every aspect of what ButcherBox is bringing you is quality, and that's it's just amazing. Anyway, so... If you're going to get with ButcherBox, get with them now because you're going to take chicken breast off your grocery list. ButcherBox is offering our listeners an incredible deal, and they've never offered this before. Free chicken for a year. What? Free chicken for a year. Get two pounds of free-range organic chicken breast in every order that you get. Two pounds of, <laughs> of this for free in every order when you sign up at butcherbox.com slash taste buds. Claim your deal at butcherbox.com slash taste buds. Open up. Week. Now, salami, everybody says it's an Italian meat, which it's found in a lot of Italian sandwiches. I, it's the cornerstone of many of my sandwiches, but yeah. it's a Jewish meat. It's, it's in a, a lot of Jewish it places. Over. Yeah. The people said, Rome said they invented it, but it didn't. It's all over Europe, says they invented it. Jews have taken it. Because you oh, wait, the, salami. the Jews took something? That's right. <laughs> Once we got rid of the Jesus... We took not only his crown of thorns and started okay. a fire with it, we also <laughs> took his salami. Okay. Uh, right. And we made it our own. Uh -huh. Here's why it's better. One, versatile. Mm -hmm. Hard salami. Soft salami. What does prosciutto got? That's your versatility? Hard versus soft? It's got multiple. First of all, dummy. Small. They're largest. all hard. There's Hard salami just means it's a firmer salami. There's no such thing as soft salami. Yes, it is. Deli salami. It's just so, like deli prosciutto. Yeah, but it's not called soft salami. It's called salami. Yeah. And then you just, have hard salami. Yeah, hard you salami. You don't have a hard prosciutto. Well, you want to talk about versus... There are... Prosciutto is a term for ham, right? Yes. Yeah. Pimp, back me up on that if you can look it up. Uh, but it's a term for ham. Dude, I'll take you down to DePalo's in Little Italy. Yeah. And look at their prosciutto selection, dude. It's dry. It's too salty. It's moist. It's, it's cured in salt. Variety. Legitimately... The root word is without moisture. What do you mean? It comes. You think I didn't do research, Joe? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you think prosciutto I didn't? Prosciutto's not dry. Let's see here. The term prosciutto is derived from Latin words, one of yours. Latin words pro, <laughs> meaning before, and exustus, meaning up, without juice, which came from the word exeger, meaning to suck out moisture. Well, as in from your mouth. Isn't that But it, because it's a cured from meat, your salami's mouth. a cured meat. Hey, that's not the root word. All right. Well, well listen. If you're going to try to sit here right now and tell me salami is juicy, I mean, you're out of your mind. It is dude. juicy. Or not salty. It's juicy with... Or not so Dry salami is one of the salamis. It is. It's one of the main salamis. <laughs> it is, and it's one of the best ones. It's I hard. I hate dry salami. It's, it's a Romanian staple. I hate it. 
What? Why? Oh, it goes good with peanut butter. You can't have prosciutto with peanut butter. Wait, Once you've you... had salami and peanut butter that's for disgusting. real? On, that's yeah, disgusting. on uh, salami and peanut butter on an everything bagel. Oh. That's disgusting. Oh, I wish Stop I should have made one and brought it. Uh, you, the lack of adventure you have in your lives, both of you, is oh. almost unsettling. Uh, and like, why, why are my friends with him being Christian? Why are my friends with you for your go nowhere, do nothing attitude? How is this? How is it adventurous <laughs> to put a meat that doesn't go with a, th- a spread on an ev- on, on like Elvis on, by fucking the way, Presley, on, greatest by the way. rock star of all time in America? By the way, love on the love record, peanut butter. On the record, on this very <laughs> podcast, my least favorite of the bagels. I have made it very clear on here that yeah. I don't like. And you you can't talk- have it on a on a on raisin bagel. It's got to be on an everything. Or I, a look, bagel. Uh, maybe on a plain bagel, I might start listening. In. But here's the oh my god, dude! You, you so what is up, that? You can hang up a salami. You can hang it on such Get things that off as of my a wall. wall. <laughs> what is that? This is a hard salami from Romania. Wow! It, how about just... a salami for your son in the army? I know. Cats yeah. is down. How about how about this? Uh, get a prosciutto for your son in the mudo. <laughs> <laughs> Why Wait you a second. Have a son? Wait a second. You want to talk? Let's talk class for a minute. Let's talk class. Let's talk class. Let's talk class. My meat. My meat comes at its best. You can find prosciutto at sixty-five dollars a pound. More, more. Yeah, That's your meat it's... hangs from the ceiling. You pig! <laughs> you pig! It's sixty-five dollars because the mafia's gotten their hands in it. <laughs> it's not fucking good. It's just your thing. Look at this fucking your meat. It looks like in Predator when it hangs the bodies up. <laughs> <laughs> You have garbage people. I am telling you this meat. right now. I'm Say telling it. you this right now. Once the salami jumps out of Italy, I want nothing to do with it. All those yeah. Eastern European salamis, blood, blood yeah. sausages. Blood sausage is that. not a salami. That's sausage. That looks like blood sausage. Look how red that is, dude. Ooh, so good. So salty. All right, cut us a piece. So salty as you complained about prosciutto. Don't mark. Hold on. Put something down. Don't. You don't have any fucking cutting board. What is that rag? Where'd you get that rag from? Not from out there. In your fucking... Do you know if it was a clean rag or not? All right. Look at this. Look at him trying to cut this abomination. I really like salami, but this isn't... It's doing Look the at him trying to cut it. Look at him trying to because cut it. it's hardened. It's... Who wants hardened meat, All right, It's not a good thing. Oh, my God. It flew off the table. Not really. I'll take it. You want it? No, thank you. Bite a piece. Mm. Oh my god, it crunched. It's so fucking good. Oh, dude, you're nuts. It's been setting out to harden for a while. No, Joe. Let's you're see. nuts. I had to set it out to harden for a while. You let it harden. Listen it comes soft. You have to let it harden. Listen to me. Mm. 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 I was at the Palos mm. yesterday, dude. They, I wasn't even there for prosciutto. I was there to get stuff to make uh, sausage. And, what, and, and what'd you and get and there? Tomatoes. What'd you get there at the Palos? I bought Italian sausage to make a, to make dinner. Oh. The, they started slicing prosciutto in front of me, dude. It was everything in my being to not yeah. order prosciutto that I didn't need in that moment, dude. It is such an elevated meat. F- prosciutto is a go-to punchline joke meat on Frasier. That's how high class this meat is. Here's how it many, is a here's reference a ser- on Frasier. Here's a serving size for prosciutto. Two slices a month or you will die. What are you talking So salty. You think that? Ari, look at what you just sawed <laughs> off of that log, <laughs> off of that circumcised <laughs> you just put on this table and sliced, barely, by the way, might I add, barely the sliced off the piece. Moil. Look at it. <laughs> You're board. biting it like old bread. you got to bite it with your back teeth. <laughs> You're like, it's, it's a thick slice. Like hands of an open mic moil. It's a thick slice. <laughs> open mic moil. Open I'll mic t- moil. Imagine your shirt orange your face. It just says open mic muir, moil. <laughs> I'll give it a go. <laughs> I'll, t- I'll taste the piece. No, not the one you ate, pig. Oh, Give me my own piece. <laughs> Got a cutting board in the sandwich I know shop. You can't. We have one. Uh, you think I'm letting you dirty it for this? Go ahead. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at the way you cut it, dude. It's so good. Dude, it feels like a scab. It's so fucking good. It feels like a scab. I mean, if you say it's not good, you're, you're moronic. Of course it's good. That's yeah. hard Romanian salami, straight from the fucking salami motherland. The only thing that survived Nazi invasion was this recipe for the salami. It doesn't taste bad. Say your thing like you want to say it. Huh? Say your thing like you want to say what it. What thing? You know. About the Holocaust? No. What thing? <laughs> your meat. We mean salmon. Pronounce it the way you pronounce it. Prosciutto. <coughs> That's not the way your people say it. 
How do they say it? You know. <laughs> I, I swear to God, I don't know. I know what you're, I know what you're Say going. it, Steve. Say your no, dumb guinea I've shit. I've seen those videos where they take people from Italy uh-huh. watching Italian Americans say Italian words. And they're like, that's mm-hmm. not how you how say it. How do they it. say prosciutto? Like in Philly, you hear people say, they'll go, oh, give me a pound of prosciutto. Yeah, yeah, awful yeah. humans. I don't like that. You're so into no, their culture. Prosciutto. That's the only reason to eat it. Yeah, prosciutto. So you can say prosciutto. That's why you like sausage. And that's why I like prosciutto over these other things. So I'm, you can act like you're more Italian. I've long <laughs> you had like to get into the vibe of it. You're like, oh, no, I know the way to say it. I have long hated the American practice of dropping the vowel from the end. I hate when they say mozzarella. Mozzarella is another one. They don't say that in Italy either. It's I, can't, I hate when they say metagot. I yeah. hate that. Metagot. Yeah. Oh, garbage humans. Worst of the whites. Oh, Albanians. I'll accept Albanians. <laughs> I've recently Listen, learned that can't. Albanians are terrible I like also. Salami. I like yeah. salami. First of all, Genoa salami, far way. superior to that. That's good. Yeah, Genoa that's good. Salami if, you want, if you gave me a cracker that tasted like salami. Cracker, and, and it some w- cheese, some cheese Hold on, together. No, 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 no. I'm saying that yeah. tastes like a cracker flavored like salami. You see, it can be a top and a bottom. This could be the bun that you need My for point a piece is, of You can't eat that on a sandwich, dude. Yes, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, dude, you come Listen, on. Listen, it's dude. been, dr- it's, gotta, I'll tell you, be honest. It's like eating I, a Tic Tac. I've, I've, I've dried this out for about two months too long. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was, it was far soft before. That's like eating a Tic Tac, dude. It's like when you, who doesn't cr- love a Tic Tac? Yeah, but I'm saying you can't make a sandwich with it. All right, so you're yeah, admitting you that that's it. not a great example. He brings a knife from home. No, I mean, it's your knife. That's my knife? Yeah, your dull fucking knife. No. Just like your dull fucking intellect. It's not dull, dude. Look at this thing, dude. You're cutting wood with it. G- give me don't don't do that. Give me another piece. Thanks. <laughs> I will say this. I love yeah. I love salami. This yeah. is a good flavor. Salami's them. However, go ahead. Go ahead. Genoa salami, superior to this. Great. Super Sada, superior Great. to this. Yeah. That's yeah. the uh, uh, that's the that's prosciutto, the... superior to all of them. No. To all of them. It's... Dude. You haven't had the you, right prosciutto. Pre- prosciutto needs to be sliced paper fucking thin. thin. Oh, prosciutto to Trans- Parma. It. it has to be from the Trans- Parma region of Italy. Uh, listen, it's not bad. Prosciutto's not bad. Prosciutto is very good. But it but it's not a salami. It's not as... it's Like I said, you've just named three different salamis. Okay, I have a question. We can do whatever we want. Moderator. Yeah. Is the question being debated, what's more delicious or what what's, what benefits society what's better or what's that better salami in it's an american meat. overall it's been taken by america i didn't even know prosciutto was a thing for a while Oof, that's a sad life i knew salami really? it's because it's not kosher probably cuz you were right. yeah, yeah you grew up kosher and then yeah. also you were young it's not a child's food like no, it's salami not. Salami's what you give salami a can also be deli up. meat that's a fourth type of salami huh? people grew up on salami lunchables won't give you Prosciutto. Yeah, but that's disgusting. Lunchables, Lunchables couldn't afford prosciutto. No, they can't afford prosciutto. Yeah, I mean, what what kind of kid was eating prosciutto at lunch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can so see I it. There. I can see fucking Sopranos kid <laughs> yeah. with that little like fucking <laughs> prosciutto. One of my Lunchables. favorite things in life was field trip lunch, though. Like the extra big lunch, I would have like a nice hoagie, chips. No, I'd have a hoagie too, but yeah, I mean, not a prosciutto hoagie. But here's the thing: it's all about which meat is the superior meat, okay? and I think yeah. Like, I think prosciutto is more delicious, but th- does that mean it's a better meat overall? No. That's what I'm trying to debate. That's what, yeah. Think about that. You gotta so look who at it, is more into like price point? Is children. Look what at children it like get happier when they're like, hey, we got some prosciutto. Hey, we got some salami. Who's reveling more? Which I don't American think they've had access to the. I want, my buddy Carlo once, like, he had a special slicer that he came, that big giant red thing. It was like. I know From you Italy, about. you know, one of those things. That yeah. oh, no. literally paper thin. You could yeah, read you spin through the, the wheel. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Yes. You could yeah. do that with these. It, that prosciutto was Let's the best Cassis. thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> that was the absolute best thing I ever had. Prosciutto is a meat. We have prosciutto on one, count it, one sandwich here. All the other sandwiches have to carry the weight for the prosciutto sandwich. No, it's so the peanut butter and jelly. So we can price prosciutto fairly That's with everything else. That's... That's what good yeah, prosciutto is. it's too expensive, is. you're saying. It's not too expensive. It's so quality. No, that's no, what you no. Can the do. peanut butter and jelly with the thing, is, that's the thing. No, no, no. I'm not, it's not about your favorite. I'm talking oh. about the quality of a meat, okay? Prosciutto is, you give salami to a kid to shut him up. You give him a piece of salami, you go, go over there. And, and they will shut up. You give him a piece of prosciutto, they're just going to be like, uh, all right. You do. That's prosciutto- like a fucking baby bottle with nothing if in it. You, if you, if you, all right, let's talk, let's, by the way, let's talk origin countries. Yeah. Prosciutto. France. Mm. Wait, Italy. prosciutto's France? 
There's French prosciutto. There's Italian prosciutto. There's Spanish. Salami. Salami. There's, Spanish. Oh, no, there's salami. Let me, let me salami. Let me Spanish prosciutto. Let me that is insane. Yeah, yeah. Let me finish. Spain, Spain does it. Come nice. on, that's Italy. Come on. That's not now let's talk. No, sal- have now let's talk salami. Bulg- Romania Ugh. and Italy and Italy Ugh. and France. All the same things. What's all the French same salami? things. What's French salami? I don't know pork salami. No, no. What's what's a French salami? I don't know. What's a, what's I a, see two kinds of salami. What's a French? I see Eastern Europe salami and Italian salami. I'm only I'm only American salami. This on American salami. American salami. That's our deli. Well, none of them are American. So then we're gonna have to go Genoa. It's I mean, incredible. Genoa's your titan. Genoa that, salami. Genoa is your type, and then prosciutto di Parma is, is, is my type. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. the that's the pre, if you go to the pre-packaged section in the grocery store, if you don't even go to the deli, if you if you want to get basic bitch here, and you go to the most accessible, simple way to get lunch meat, go to the pre-packaged aisle of the grocery store. You're gonna see one kind of prosciutto, and that's the Parma, and you're gonna see one kind of salami, and that is Genoa. And where so, what countries are those? Here, oh Italy, both. So Italy. what's your point? What do you mean? What's my point? I mean, what, so when I asked that, oh, what so, I so mean then, is, so you're what ta- is your You said you point? want to battle. I'm sorry, because you said you want to battle American, the American versions of these. So those are basically the American versions. Is the Italian. Those, yes. So they're both Italian. Yeah, but that's not my point. My point is. Well, it's is, like an Italian, a fucking mix and match. My point is. In the middle of it. My point is. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Let me break it into numbers so you'll understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Show me your back hair while you make this point. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you get fucking, fucking guinea. Hold on. Dumb fucking Hold guinea. On. Hold on. Yeah. Victim. Here's yeah. how. <laughs> Should have been Egyptian. I'll bring you dumber. over to my side in two seconds. Okay. Prosciutto makes more money, Jew. <laughs> <laughs> but the salami? No way. There's salami everywhere. Salami makes more money. There's 20, 20 different types of salami. No, listen to me. If if we're gonna talk about the American standard of these two meats, Genoa versus prosciutto, we're not. Okay? Ta- yeah, that's what you just said. Salami, but you, I know. But listen to me. Yeah. Genoa versus De Parma. Okay. That's not. I don't agree with that. That's not the standards. That's just what you buy here in New York at a bodega. No, I'm saying if you go to the most basic place, the most accessible place in America to buy either of these things, those are the two versions they have. No, nah, just salami. You just go to a it's deli. Just like, give me salami. salami. Give me a pound of salami. There's. There's no such thing as just salami. I don't, think, yeah. nah, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking it's about. It's Genoa. I'm so that's what you. kids eat? Is Genoa salami? Yes. Okay, great. So what's your point? My point is, so then what we're battling here truly, if you want to break it down to an American soil, oh, is which one's most cost effective? So which one's most cost effective? Salami is a more versus accessible. Versus Genoa. But no, it's cheaper prosciutto, thing. No, prosciutto di Parma is far superior to Genoa No, it's salami. just more expensive. It's, why would it's, you get a more expensive, uh, same quality thing? It's just you, too expensive. You, went, you can't have it on a sandwich every day like salami. I'll tell you why. You'll if go broke. I you, you'll go broke. Yeah, are you saying it's the same deliciousness? Same deliciousness. And then you, yours cost too if much. If you came in here right now, all yeah. right, if you came in here right now. And if you said, hey, I'm going to serve you Hold a on. hard no, no. prosciutto no, no, no. on, 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 no on, on everything prosciutto. bagel with peanut butter. No. I'll be like, Ooh, what else you got? You go salami? I'm like, dude, I'm going to suck your Listen to me. Because that is awesome. And we're finally friends. Listen to me right now. We're finally friends. If you... If you came into a re- no, forget this place. If you went into a restaurant, yeah, and they and I was your waiter, and you said we'll take the, a charcuterie board. And I said okay, and I brought you a board with cheeses, olives, and then prosciutto di Parma, even the prepackaged thinly sliced kind on a board. That's the only kind. Versus another board that had the <laughs> slices of Genoa salami on it. You'd be like, you wouldn't get Genoa salami. It wouldn't go on a board. It had a different kind of salami. It's, it's versatile. It's versatile. It's versatile. I'm saying you would have a different kind of salami for that We're experience. We're talking Titan versus Titan. Here. No, you're saying what would you go to a charcuterie board? On a salami goes. You said we got that for you. You what said what do you want in a fucking you sandwich? Said, we got that too. You said what do you, you want in lunchables? Hey, we're salami. We you're got that. You're not in lunchables. I got news for you. We just battled lunchables. There is no salami lunchable. There can be. No. There can be anything. No, Salami's versatile. There You're can saying, be an asparagus hey, oh, lunchable. let's just do this one I mean, type and mean? then apply it to this one thing. No, no, no. No, 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 no. It's versatile. You can use it for lots of things. No, there's no... So- is there a salami lunchable, uh, pimp? I don't believe there is. What is, is there? Just bologna? Bologna, which is your fucking uh, no, meat's no, 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 uh, no. third cousin, okay? <laughs> That's hanging nobody. around in Bologna's the background nobody. all Bologna's the time. West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Pepperoni. A pepperoni beat your meat into a lunchable. <laughs> what else is there? 
Yeah. Pepperoni. Well, prosciutto's not going on there. Because it's that too classy. Afford. It's too expensive for a Lunchable. It's too they expensive said, for these kids and their tastes. They said we're not putting salami in. What other meat will people eat? And they said, what's the... Pepperoni. What is the, First what of is all, the f- most fraudulent of all faking <laughs> Italian meats? They go, ooh, pepperoni. Uh, salami, I would maintain. The most it is poser versatile. Italian meat is pepperoni. Yeah, it is. <laughs> pepperoni. <laughs> they, don't even, they don't even bother with calling yeah. it pepperoni. It's like, look, I'm on pizza. And it's like, you're not Italian. Get out of here. What? Not seeing a lot of mates. Well, maybe not the best example. My point is, yeah. If you go, if you go most commonplace, no, you can't go. You most just common. said you wanted to, though. You no, s- no. But you're saying this. Here's just one thing. It's a Genoa salami versus the fucking whatever. Okay, I'll, but, but I'll, I'll I'm saying we're versatile. Better. I'll do you one better. I'll and do you one better. Apply it to one thing. I'll do you one better. Well, what are you doing a ham store? What are you doing a ham store? I'll what? do you one better. Yeah. Go to any deli counter in a supermarket. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I don't mean like I don't mean. Do they have salami? Hold on a second. Yes. Hold on a second. Okay. I don't mean like uh, I don't mean like a West Side Market yeah. or a place that's a little like foofier with you mean like like with, an Acme. Yeah, in yeah, the Acme, middle of the road, Acme, Gennardi's, Shoprite, Winn Dixie, yeah. you know, uh, yeah, Publix. Publix, Giant, Key yeah. Foods, yeah, yeah, your classics. Yeah. You yeah. go to that deli counter, they got Genoa salami and they got prosciutto. That's what they're serving at your deli counter that you said that we're all going to, okay? No, 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 no. no. That's, what, that's one place you can get salami. You're trying to say, so, here's the one type of salami, and let's judge so it on that. I'm saying of versatility spe- Outside a- of specialty shops, okay, where am go. I getting your salamis? Let's, how about this? Uh, lunch rooms. That's Genoa salami. Great, but can you get prosciutto okay. there? What do no. you mean lunch rooms? I think I can't mean, like, afford it. That's right. Too it's expensive. too expensive. Exactly. Right. It's too expensive. Now, would you say if they were both the same price, would you still prefer salami over prosciutto? I say the if versatility. Exactly the, the versatility would get you there. The versatility would get versatility, you there. Versatility. Look, versatility. Well, what do you get at Katz's? How huh? many different kinds of salami can you get at Katz's? They have one of kind of salami at Katz's. I don't like the salami they have at Katz's. I don't like the salami at Katz's. They have this and they have the other and one. And they have the balls. Yeah. They have the balls. Balls to salami. charge twenty some dollars for a salami well, sandwich. Well, for everything, they charge seventy five for a prosciutto you know, sandwich. Uh, but but I, I go to Katz's and I get corned beef. That's what I'm there to get. That's uh, it. Well, like that's, or or yeah. pastrami. It's neither here nor but there. But the point I get is pastrami the, too. That's not the point. Yeah. My point is is you want one argument. If you're going to argue, for instance, yeah. functionality of a meat. Yeah. That I'm going to argue functionality on my meat. Yeah. Now, granted, your meat is versatile. Yeah. But it's not much more versatile, but I'll leave it at that. Uh, but let me just make my Far point. More. If you want to talk versatility, yeah. every deli counter in this country is going to serve a couple types of prosciutto. I've seen it. I go yeah. to these supermarkets. No, the I go types to these are the same. It's just a They're different place. They're not the same. They're it's different thin quality. It's thinly sliced, whatever. Every, it's the but same every one shit. of these, they this have. This looks so much different than the thick, wide, fucking floppy salami. It's a, good, the, it's a different thing. You don't get a hard prosciutto. Unless, you, unless you're going to Arthur Avenue in the Bronx. Yeah. Okay. And I or won't. To a specialty Jew- <laughs> <laughs> or to a specialty Jewish deli or something. It's hard to find like a quality cured salami. It's hard. It's not easy to come by. But you can get a, a, a accessible salami. You can sure. easily just get a and salami. And can I'm, I get a salami sandwich? And I'm saying it's just as hard. Hey, can I get hard. a salami sandwich? Absolutely. And I'm saying, Anywhere you go. And I'm saying it's just as hard to find a very high-end prosciutto. But my point is, is I could find... I could find a quality prosciutto more easily than I could find a quality salami. Um, and and now we're talking Genoa. No, but you're talking about we're New York. You're talking about New York. You're talking we're about talking, New York. We're talking Genoa salami or beef salami. I love both. But in, those are those are standard salamis. They're in, nothing special. You think in Montana you're going to be able to find a fucking prosciutto? Probably not. Probably not. I, but you will find salami. No you, can. you think in West Virginia you're going to find quality prosciutto everywhere? You're not. But salami if I can find is available. It in San Francisco. San Francisco is a sandwich town. But, Philly's but a sandwich San, town. San Francisco is as far as you could. They get. have the guineas. Uh, <laughs> they have the wops. San Francisco so is as, literally as as far as you can get from, from New York, Italian, East Coast, where I feel like all the seeds of this stuff gets planted and then it mm-hmm. and then it moves out. If it made it as far as San Francisco, it's making it as far as. But Montana. you skipped over a bunch of middle shit. No, Montana doesn't have it. They just got their first Italian restaurant. I in love Billings. salami. I love beef salami. I love Genoa salami. I have a sandwich Thank based you. on beef and Genoa salami. They are amazing salamis. Yep. But my point is, if you're saying you're giving me a platter for these meats to stand on their own, so then you would get prosciutto then, is a more quality meat. I can't. Argue how about this that. meat and that's cheese? True. How about this that's meat and, a meat and cheese platter? You want that thin salami like that? You cut off little pieces. Cut off little pieces. Cut off little pieces. Yeah. Prosciutto, you don't get that. You already get already sliced or forget it. That's wrong. 
how is it wrong? That's wrong. How? You're wrong. How? You're wrong. How? There are different shapes of prosciuttos. Yeah. And you can cut the meat however the fuck you want to cut. How? It. How? I've only seen it in deli form. I've only seen it in deli meat form. Thinly you're, sliced. You're trash. Thinly sorry. Sp- you 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 li- you live in squalor. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, it's a different. <laughs> it's a difference between like I love a hot dog. Right? Yeah, I yeah. love hot dogs. I'll never argue hot dogs all day long. But right now we're arguing a hot dog versus a Kobe a burger. sausage. Yeah, right. And you can't. T- I can't in a million years sit here and go. As much as I love hot, right, a you're not ballpark a Kobe burger Frank, Frank that I grill, exactly, it's yeah. not a Kobe burger. Right, right, yeah. right. It's not versatile. It's not usable. Analogy. A Kobe burger is not useful. Huh? Kobe burger is not useful. I see what you're doing. You flipped my argument on me. Right. No. Oh, I don't know. I was just. I thought that's what you were saying. You, you can't. Get, you can't go to a Yankee game and get a Kobe burger. Oh you my can't god. Go to a Yankee game and sit and get a prosciutto sandwich. You can get a salami yes, sandwich. You can, you, yes, you can. You know where you can get it? Where? In the President's Club when the they President's let you into that. That's two-floor. exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's too high scale. Like the common man can't get there, dude. We didn't all get adopted by a rich family. <laughs> they don't some have, of us had to deal with the hand we were dealt with. They don't have. Some of us were just born into a rich family. <laughs> they, uh, they, they don't have salami sandwiches at the ballpark. I'm positive they do. They don't. They I do. promise you they don't. Promise me? Promise you. Can promise you. Get, you. Can you get some... They got three things to eat at the ballpark. Hot dog, hamburgers, fries. chicken fingers. You can get a salami sandwich there. You can get a sandwich you, there. You can get a sandwich there. You can There's a sandwich place. Where? Wait, so it's in, your main in, argument, prosciutto, more delicious, salami more accessible. More versatile, more accessible, also amazing. Yeah, it tastes a little All better. All right, that's your closing prosciutto argument? Prosciutto tastes a little better, but really, not really. It's only better because like you rarely get it. It's kind of like a split argument. pea soup. It's kind of like a split pea soup. We're like, yeah, it's always favorite, but you know what? It's never I there. I eat salami. I eat salami all the time. Me too. Great. And I'll go End into, of story. I'll go into some higher end. I'll go up to the Bronx and buy high-end super sot that hangs and dress. Delicious. I'll do it. You I won't. can still only eat five slices, and I start to be like, oh, my God. Like the fat content, the saltiness, whatever. I start that's to get everything. like- That's Whatever. Prosciutto? I ate two packs of prosciutto last night. That's Sitting in disgusting. front of my sh- TV. That's disgusting. T- thinly sliced. It was prepackaged. <laughs> still delicious. I ate two full packs with baby carrots because yeah. the sweetness of the carrots. You ever do melon and prosciutto? Of course. Oh, so they good. serve yeah, it as an good. appetizer in restaurants and weddings, dude. If If you ever... Showed up to my wedding with salami. I would throw you out, dude. I can't. Right? I can't get over the fact that you ate two packs of prosciutto by yourself. Last by the night. way, healthier, healthier. No keto. It's one disgusting. pack, dude. One, salami's keto, yeah. but one pack of prosciutto is like two hundred ten calories. The whole pack. Huh. A pack of salami. So much. Way sodium. more fat, dude. Way no, very more fatty. Fat. Prosciutto is very fatty. It's one of the fattiest meats there is no that's not I true i just looked it up you can see fat in it you can see fat you in could it. eat around the fat if you wanted to yeah, eat around the fat you, did you do that last night pimp pimp uh, uh, we're good on time right yeah. no i mean like how what time where are we at, uh, we're at like a half 35 okay my final give, us a, give yeah. us a health G- give us a health give us a healthier give us a calorie healthier. count Le- Le- Genoa, it's actually less healthier genoa salami versus prosciutto uh, no, 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 no. You just you try to have to name <laughs> the, the salami dumb no, shit. Salami. You can't just salami. Write salami. The argument's not Genoa salami versus prosciutto. But if looking up a calorie count, you have to name one of the no, salami. No, 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 no. Salami versus prosciutto. Health. You, first of all, you, there's no we- Google search for health salami versus prosciutto. There's a Google search prosciutto. for everything. All right. Uh, one slice of salami is 41 calories. 41 calories for one 41. slice. 41. That's what you need to get by. Calories 41. are units of energy. 40. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. Oh, my God. A cup. A, a cup. cut. A cut. No, no, a cup. A cut. <laughs> a One cup. slice is a cut. <laughs> that's not how much. That's not what. Here's my closing argument. Hold on. Wait. He's okay. looking up the calories. Hold on. No, he's doing porn. He started to look it up, and then he fucking got sidetracked. 36 calories and two thin slices of prosciutto. Yeah, because you're slicing. Two slices! A thin a thin slice, a th- two thin slices of prosciutto is even thinner than one slice of salami. No, it's not. Yes, it Sorry, is. Salami's not, a salami's terrible not sliced argument. that thin. It's sliced super thin because that's it's almost like paper. Argument. You can see through it. I know you're being a shit, but that's a terrible <laughs> argument. Pip, get, take us to the fo- Let's hear some, what some of the people are saying. Oh, hold on. I will say this. Here's my closing arguments. 
The people at Wait, home. We didn't get to closing arguments. Yet. Oh, I thought Hold you on. did yours. I thought no. No, you I did, right? No, I said take us out with some calorie counts, but we have a little more time. Okay. So let me let me go to the phones first. Okay, go to the phones. And then we'll do closing arguments. Okay. I'm gonna have some salami while I wait. All right. Salami is good. Salami's great. It's Steve, I mean, it's uh, look. Nobody's saying it's not, but Literally that's not what we're here for. a sandwich shop with with tons of meat, and, and I'm the only one who brought meat to this. The uh, hold on. Well, the fans don't like it when we eat on mic. They get mad. Well, if you're so angry, why don't you take that angle and donate to our brother's keeper? It's a new fucking um. <laughs> all right, ready? Charity that gives porn Here's to homeless people. The, stop it, <laughs> dude! I, you all know he's joking. He's an ass. All right, ready? Salami is the Dollar Tree of cut meats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, we might Everybody have a winner right out of the bat. <laughs> Prosciutto is the Cadillac of sliced meats. Salami is an old Pontiac. You want uh, people looking down on you like those people who drive Cadillacs? You want a one percenter? You want a fucking elite <laughs> Illuminati? Then go get your prosciutto. If you want a person who's gonna take over this country and lead the revolution, that's salami. Salami, people, it's good compared to baloney. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that there's even one vote for salami here is outrageous. Oh salami God. is amazing. I'm also guessing Joe is team salami. Wrong! <laughs> yeah, who would guess that? Prosciutto is only good on charcuterie boards. Salami is a sandwich staple. Thank you! That's what I'm saying! That's exactly what I'm saying. It's Not usable true. for everything. All right. It is good for charcuterie boards. Oh, yeah. A lot of people have charcuterie boards. that You get out of the mine. Uh, Fucking, oh, uh, can Canary died. We lost a friend in the cave-in. Don't worry. Maul's got a charcuterie board waiting for salami us. Is dis- salami is disgusting, Joe. I didn't pick salami. More like prosciutto. No. Yes, <laughs> prosciutto. No. Prosciutto by a long shot. Salami is the caviar taste beer budget option here. <laughs> I've never had a good sandwich with prosciutto. You're having prosciutto. You're having bad prosciutto. Today. Slice wrong. <laughs> Let me make this clear. Excuse me. Let me make this clear. Yeah. If prosciutto is not sliced paper thin, it is the most disgusting thing on the Easy to Earth. fuck up a prosciutto. Impossible to fuck up salami. Yeah. I just sliced a, a, yeah. a, a, you know seven, how, a 17-length uh, fucking you know with salami. Meat, still delicious. Yeah, you know quality food should always be, like, super easy to make. You know, Kraft Mac and Cheese, quality, quality food, right? Because it's super easy. They it weren't smuggling prosciutto on their backs in heavy weights. It was salami, baby. That's Thank you. Funny. <laughs> uh, salami is for people who don't wear socks with bowling shoes. <laughs> uh, that's the winner. That's the winner. That's amazing. All right, follow. That's our winner, folks. Follow at uh, at Hathaway Prof at Hathaway Prof Professor Jeffrey Hathaway. Fantastic work, man. That's a oh, solid God. one. Um, all right, now it's closing arguments time. Listen. When you grew up, think about your childhood, your favorite days of your life. Think about it for a second. Legitimately think about school and meeting your friends and even like playtime and your mom makes you a sandwich you come in. You know what that is. That's a salami sandwich. Ketchup, mustard, or even possibly ketchup and mustard. It's up to you with salami. You can do whatever you want. Have it on ketchup. rye bread. Have it on white bread. What is the no matter one's allowed with to you? I'm arguing. <laughs> no one's allowed to have prosciutto with ketchup. You're just not allowed. But we're ketchup people, you guys. Me and you, Americans. <laughs> ketchup people till the end. Vote Team Salami. My closing argument is uh, when you're young and you come inside and you want a sandwich and you inside your mom. grab <laughs> <laughs> you grab for the prosciutto, your mom goes, take your disgusting hands off of that good quality meat. Don't Here's, I have to slice the paper thin? I'm arguing. Okay, I'm yeah, arguing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the salami. Make yourself a sandwich because any Philistine can put this between two slices of bread and make it work. <laughs> That's right, everyone. Prosciutto, free shut up. Philistine. Unlike what shut Joe DeRosa up. wants. I'm okay, sorry. <laughs> prosciutto takes class. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes it's 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 more quality. It tastes better. It's better for you. Period. Prosciutto is the meat for the people that care about themselves. If you care about yourself, you care about prosciutto. Mm. Steve, where does your final judgment land? All right, this is what I really You think. love childhood, right, Steve? Salami's delicious. One of the best things I ever made was uh, I was going through a phase where I was making pizza dough all the time, but I didn't feel like I had eaten so many pizzas. And I took salami, Genoa salami, it was paper thin, 
and provolone with some extra virgin olive oil, salt, pepper, and made a stromboli. It's one of the best wow. things I've ever had. Great. It was yeah, incredible. Yeah. Salami is phenomenal. But all things be it's but it's not a treat. <laughs> I don't know. I think I, 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 I think I, I think I think I think I have to go with prosciutto. I have because right. I think it's just better. Uh get your plugs out now. This is humble pie because once it ends, it ends. Plugs? I would like to plug my new podcast, You Be Trippin'. You can subscribe now. My special's coming out in October, Jew, but You Be Trippin', subscribe now. It, yeah. we'll, go, we'll go to places and talk about foods. Yeah, yeah. So go to places that have stuff that like serve, salami. You don't have to serve the thinnest possible to possibly right. enjoy it. Uh, I have a special that just came out on Dry Bar called Ice Cream for Breakfast. And hey, it's nice. coming up at. Um, hey, you should plug that earlier, too. Yeah, whatever. Ice Cream Watch for Steve's. Breakfast. Steve Simone. I know that bit. Ice Watch Cream for Steve's, Breakfast. Uh, uh, special. He's great. And uh, I will plug, uh, well, we're at Joey Rose's, joeyrosesnyc.com for all details Tuesday through Sunday. We are open. Come see us, please, for all kinds of sandwiches, including both meats that we talked about today. Uh, back on the road, folks. Next spot, this week, I will be in San Diego, American Comedy Company, September 1, 2, 3. Come see me. Got a bunch of dates coming up through the fall after that. Go to joederosainfo.com for uh, all info and show times, and also... New podcast coming soon. Down with Joe DeRosa. I got one more. Me and Joe, me and Jay Okerson uh, in Vegas, September 21st. Oh, that's One awesome. night. That's fun. That's All right, folks. Here we go. Humble Pie. Who won? Pimp, you want to tell us? Bottom of the mic. Do you want me to? Oh. All right. Take. Um, in second place with 41% is Prosciutto. What? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. Oh yeah, the people have spoken. <laughs> Back to Italy. Back with ye to Italy. Get on your mortadelle boats and get no. the fuck out. You just have to. You just have to say I still love you. I still love you, Joe. I love you too. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste